Windows 11 looks fine, it's clean, it's modern, but let's be honest, it's boring, everyone's desktop looks exactly the same, but what if I told you there's a free app that changes everything? This is what Windows 11 can actually look like, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get this setup in the next few minutes. But before we start, if you want more Windows tips like this, hit that subscribe button and drop a like, it really helps the channel, and without any further ado, let's dive in. The first thing you want to do here, go to this link, which I will also provide in the video description down below. Click on the download button and you guys will get this WinHawk program and install it like you would any other Windows program. This program is basically a customization marketplace for Windows and the other programs as well. Now, once you have it installed, you can go here to the start menu and search for the WinHawk and click here on the application to open it. And here are all of the modifications I highly recommend that you install. Now, the first one is Taskbar Dock Animation. And this one will give our Taskbar this Mac OS hover icon animation. So make sure that you just copy the name or just search for it here on the explore page. So just like this, then go here to the details and click on install. Now, once you have it installed, your Taskbar should look something like this. However, you can see here that it has this recommended option. So that the maximum scale should be around 130%. So you will have to go here to the settings and change this maximum scale here from 160 to 130. And then make sure that you click here to save the settings. And this is how this animation here looks like. In my opinion, it does look pretty cool. Now we can also continue here with the Windows 11 taskbar styler. So to customize this taskbar and make sure that you install it like you did the taskbar dock animation plugin. You can go to the details and here you can then click on the settings and down below here, click on the theme. Scroll down and here you will find three of the options which are pretty cool. Now the first one here is called Dock. Let's click here on Save Settings. And now this is how the taskbar looks like. We can also go here to Luminosity Classic and this is how this one looks like. And then we have the last one which is Luminosity Compact. So this is a bit slimmer look, but overall, I think that you should definitely go here with this one, Luminosity Dock. Let's click here on Save Settings, and now we have this really cool taskbar. Let's continue here with the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. So to make this Start Menu look a whole lot better, and to make it look a bit better, you will have to install this Windows 11 Start Menu Styler plugin. Let's go here to the Details and install it. And then here, let's go to the Settings, and under the Theme, this is the theme I highly recommend that you guys apply. It's called down arrow. And then we can also here disable the new start menu layout as well. So remember Windows recently rolled out this brand new start menu design and we can also disable it right here by enabling this toggle. And let's go here to save the settings. And now when I open the start menu, this is how your start menu should look like much better than before. Now let's continue here with the notification center styler. So remember, this is how the notification notifications look like by default on Windows 11. However, we can make them look a bit better. So make sure that you install this modification. It's called Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. Let's go here to the details and under the settings here, change this to the window glass effect. We can click here on save settings. And now when I toggle the notifications, this is what they are going to look like. Much better than before, in my opinion. Now, we are not done yet because we will have to install a few more of the modifications related to the taskbar customization. Now, the first one is called taskbar labels for Windows 11. Now, make sure that you install this one as well because this is super important. And then here, I will put this link in the video description down below. So this GitHub page. And down below, you will click on the themes here and scroll down to find the luminosity theme. Click on it and then down below here, you will find this option to change the taskbar labels for Windows 11. So you will have to click to expand the JSON content, copy it just like so, and then go here inside the taskbar labels for Windows 11 plugin, go here to the advanced options, and paste them inside just like so. And then here, click on save and load. We are not done yet because you will have to go here to the taskbar clock customization as well. Make sure that you install this plugin as well here for the WinHawk. Go here to the advanced options and then go back here to this website where you will find just down below this taskbar clock customization option. Click on it to expand JSON content, copy it, go here to the WinHawk and paste this inside. Click on save and click on load. 
And this is what your clock should look like here inside your taskbar. And now, in my opinion, your windows should look much better than before. So we have this new start menu, we have the notifications here, and then also this really cool macOS inspired animation here inside the taskbar. So overall, I'm quite happy with the current customization, but we can take this to a whole new level with a new wallpaper. Now, this is the wallpaper which I found here on this website. And you want to click here to download this one in 4K resolution. Click here on this folder icon. And once you have it here inside the file explorer, you can select it just like this. Click on set as background. And this is pretty much it. Now we can also make this wallpaper as our lock screen as well. So just double left click on it to open it in the photos app. Click here on the three dots. Click here on the set as and select here lock screen and you are pretty much done here. Now we can see that this dock is in the white color. However, if you want to make it in the dark one, just go here to the start, click on the settings and then here go to the personalization colors and select here from light to dark. Now let's continue here with a few more modifications. So the first one is called Microsoft Power Toys, which you guys can install directly from the store application. So if you click here on view on store, you can then here select uh, this option to install Microsoft Power Toys on your computer. And the first option is if you click here on Alt plus space, you guys will get this search window where you can calculate things, search for files and even programs. For example, I will search here for the Edge. And the next thing which this tool will add to Windows 11 is this really cool preview. So if I click here on Shift plus space on the keyboard, you will see that it opens here this brief preview of the files. And uh, if you click it once again, it will close the preview. And I think this looks pretty cool. And if we go here to the documents, we can even see here the zip file. And if I click here on the shift plus space, it will also open here the preview or the contents of the zip file, which I think is pretty cool. Now just install it from the Microsoft store here. And then here you will find it here inside the system tray. And you want to double left click on it to open its settings. And here on the right, you will find these two tools. So you want here command palette. And I highly recommend that you assign here the shortcut to something different here, assign it to the Alt plus space. And then here you can go to the settings and you can pretty much see here the extensions. So pretty much what features it actually supports. However, if you want to add some of more of the extensions for this specific uh, tool, you will go here to the Microsoft store to see all of the extensions and install them from here. Now, the next one, as I said before, it's called preview file. So you will also find it here under the utilities. And if we go here to the peak, it's called peak and uh, you will find here the activation shortcut. So I also changed this one to shift plus space. And whenever you, for example, go here to the files and click on shift plus space, it will open this really cool preview. And now the last modification is this really cool cursor. As you see, I already have it installed and you want to get it from this website. It's called japrecreations.com. And if you scroll here down below, you will find the free cursors. And in this case, I have this one installed. So it's called Cursor Concept 3 Free. You want to click on it here and select here download for free. And once you have the file here or the zip file, you should see it something like this. Select it like so, and then here click on extract all. Click on extract and then select here Cursor Concept 3 folder. Go inside the cursor folder and select whichever version you prefer. I prefer the light one. So here I will go inside the light folder and then here you will find this file, it's called install. You want to right click on it and then here select install, click on open and you should have a brand new cursor. Pretty much this is this really cool customization where you can get this really nice looking taskbar with the macOS animation. Then also here this really cool start menu with the new notification center styler as well as this really cool cursor on the Windows 11 computer. So overall, I will leave every single tool I mentioned in this video linked below in the video description down below. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.